take the exterior handle out of the box. And what we're going to do is that we're going to put the wires through the spindles. But before we do that, we have to make sure that the spindle port, which will be the clipper, we have to make sure the clippers will clip into the port. So let's wire them through. That your spindle port is clipping into the clippers. Just like that, you'll hear a click. And make sure that uh, your uh, spindle port, the clippers, will fit in the letter S, which is the neutral position. This is very, very important. You have to make sure that this reset button, the little round button here, will always face upward. Just gently put it back on, like that. And before you screw it back in, the two top and bottom secure screws, try to rotate it. Make sure that your lock button is facing upwards. So all you have to do first is click on the top right corner, the plus, and click I device, and you are going to look for smart locks. Click on it, and identify your smart locks, and for this video we are making LB400, so click on LB400, and it will tell you that please touch the numerous keypad area to wake up the door lock, which we will just gently pull our fingers. On our keypad and click next and there you have it and this just click on the little gray arrow to add a device and the lock will tell you that you have successfully added the Bluetooth administrator and then because this lock right now is locked we cannot open the door uh, we can test it by try to click and unlock there you have it. We can actually uh, unlock the door. And then what we're going to do is that we are going to add a fingerprint of the user. So we're going to click on a fingerprint. And then we click add on a, a top right corner. And it will say add a fingerprint. Give your fingerprint a name uh, for this uh, scenario, I would just say one as my fingerprint and click next. And uh, your lock will tell you when to press your finger on the Please sensor. Press again. Please press again. Please press again. Input successful. And there you have it. You added your first fingerprint and let's test it. Right now the door is locked. So we're just going to gently press our finger. Unlocked. Well, we can actually open the door. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to add an IC card. There we go. And you're going to say add an IC card. Uh, for this one, we'll just put as one as well. And hit next. Please swipe your card. Uh, you're going to place your IC card uh, on the touch screen. And there you have it. We're going to try to make a password for you. And as uh, the good old usual, click on the add and say add password. 
And you, here you have the option says is permanent. You can make a permanent uh, password or a limited time. Uh, you will have the freedom to say uh, how long your password is available. Uh, it could be a year, it could be just you know a month and maybe just a day and just hours. It's up to you. Uh, you have the choice to make that uh, option. And uh, you have you also have the once uh, just temporary passcode for one-time use. You can also have the choice of make your own password. And uh, you have the choice to make it permanent. We can try our password, which is one, 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 two, and then hit pound. Unlocked. Now we are able to lock your door. For some common problems, if you're having any sort of trouble of your LB400, you can always have the option to factory reset it. And there's two ways to do it. And I'm going to show you how to factory reset in your app. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom of your lock settings, it shows you, says restore factory settings. And just click on that and hit conform. And there you go. You have completely factory reset your lock. Okay, so we're going to show you how to factory reset the lock by manually. All you have to do is turn your inside handle one way or the other all the way into one direction. It's either to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter. And then press on the lock button for 10 seconds or until the lock tells you something. All right, once we hear that, we're going to to the front and input the initialization code. So what zero, 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 and pound. And the lock tells you that. That means you have successfully factory reset it by manually. So if you just insert your keys in, and you don't do anything, and uh, if you rotate the handle, you cannot open the door. All right, so all you have to do is just, you have to rotate your key a little bit to the right to make that slight movement, and then twist your door.